Good morning, YouTubers. I am at the cottage, as you saw from last night's footage. Caught a nice smallmouth bass. Hey guys, I'm up at the cottage. It's a Sunday night. Everybody's gone home. I'm gonna be using a little wacky worm and we're gonna catch a bass, hopefully. First cast, I'm hoping. I just do a little reel, a couple little tugs, trying to keep the line tight to me to the bait, so I can feel if anything weird's going on. Well, almost everybody went home. This rock goes out for a bit and then this takes a real deep dive. I don't think I've even tried to swim down as deep as it goes here. It gets really dark really fast in this lake. Yes! Nice! Nice! Animal! Oh. Animal! Sweet! Just gonna let him tire out a little bit more before I get him closer to me. Nice! I felt him bite a little bit. This will be a, probably a smallmouth bass. Nice. That is a nice big smallmouth bass. Hey! Don't you do that. Ah. Oh! No! Again, having problems. This guy's a fighter. Stop it. Check it out, people. Beautiful little smallmouth. All right. So there you go, beauty. And the reason we're up here is my wife wants to go for a kayak ride. So that's what we're doing. Just got the sunscreen on. Oh. I accidentally pressed Siri and she wanted to ask me. I was waiting for me to ask her a question. So, we're gonna go for about an hour to an hour and a half, although last night we went for a ride. Not too far, maybe for about 40 minutes. And my back is very, very sore today. So we went all the way down around that corner and then all along that shore around the island if you can see it on this camera and then back here and uh, yeah it killed my back a little bit so I'm bringing this camera along and I'll show you some of the sights we have two kayaks one is like a sit in and one is a sit on and the problem with the sit on one is it's more tippy and Carol gave me the privilege of, because it's her, both of them are hers, she bought them. And uh, the first one she bought was the sit on one because they're really inexpensive. And then she used that for like a year and then she wanted to upgrade. So she bought the, the nice orange one and it's a nice sit in one. It's got drink holders, it's got pocket things and you can put stuff in and it's waterproof. and. It's a nice little kayak and I uh, got it from Costco. So if you've been in Costco, you may have seen them. Um, but I got that one yesterday and it's really nice and stable, but she gets that one today. So Ken loses in this situation. Thank you. 
Uh, some of the cottages around here are quite small, as you can see. Just kidding. Check it out. And this wide angle lens doesn't do it justice. Really pretty boathouse. They've got all their water toys. They've even got a totem pole slide. That boathouse or houseboat, whatever you want to call it, is extremely cool. One of the symbols of uh, Muskoka are the Muskoka chairs, usually on rocks or on the end of your dock. Sometimes the cottage can be super quiet and relaxing. And sometimes it's not so peaceful. And we're back at the cottage. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how far we went, at least a couple kilometers and uh, like I said, I'm like all sore from last night's paddle around. I'm not used to paddling for that long, so we turned around, came back. We're gonna have a picnic and then we'll be heading home. We just stayed, came up for the day and we're heading back for tonight because Ben has to work. After our kayak ride, I couldn't wait to get back to have another carib. It's a Caribbean beer, it's from Trinidad. It's 5.2% alcohol. And I believe it's, I'm not sure if they ship it. It says imported, but sometimes they import the bottle. Sometimes they import just the liquid and then they bottle it here because it's cheaper to do that. Uh, they can get more here maybe, I don't know. But it's all done through Quebec, I think. Anyway, so I, I've had this before in uh, Barbados. Excuse me while I wipe my nose, itchy. Um, so the beers that I drank in the Caribbean, uh, in Barbados was Carib, Banks. We drank a lot of Banks beer. Uh, it was really good. Um, I think it was just Carib, Banks, and Red Stripe. But we drank mostly Banks. But I haven't. I think I've seen it up here once, and maybe it was like a special import for of the the month or something. But uh, it tastes. Um, has a bit of a, a tinny, metallic-y type taste. Uh, almost like it's coming from a can. First one's a little bit, oh, that's different. And then the second and third are, uh, they start to taste really good after the first one. Uh, the first one is just a, it's a, it's a good tasting beer. Uh, I wouldn't buy it all the time, but it was worth trying. And it's a lager. Anyway, so we're getting our, our uh, I thought I'd do a kind of a dual little talk here with you. Do a little taste test of a beer. And we're getting our awnings this Thursday. So I'll, I'll might, I might vlog the awning. Vlog the awning. Yeah, that sounds rude. I forgot to give you a weather report because you guys sometimes like to know the weather. So it is 32 degrees. And, or, or 85, yeah, 32 degrees Celsius or 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It didn't rain last night. Uh, my father-in-law likes to track the rain, how much the rain they got in a specific time period or whatever. So basically after, the, after a rainstorm, he likes to know how much rain fell. It's just kind of fun to know. It's just kind of fun to know. That's my voice cracks once again. I'll grow up someday. Look at the flowers. Those are the same flowers that are in my front yard that I thought were um, uh, black-eyed Susans, but they're not. Thanks to my subscribers and letting me know. Hey guys, I am now in the town of Bala in Muskoka and uh, there is a huge dam behind me. I put a picture up on Instagram if you want to know some of the history of Bala. But that's the level of a lake over there. And that's the level of this lake down here. 
Often people bring their boats up. It's just a beautiful spot to take pictures, listen to the rapids. There you go. Bala's got some pretty cool stores like Ice Dreams, Ice Cream, and BJ's Grill. And of course over there is the liquor store, very important to have in a small little town like this. It draws the people in. And of course you got a real estate agent there, a real estate agent here, selling lots of properties in Muskoka. Big business, big business. And this is the uh, Don's Bakery, they've got Great Chelsea buns. If you've never had Chelsea buns, look it up. Try the recipe yourself. But these guys make a pretty good Chelsea bun. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed on my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, I finally put a picture up of Carol and me. Yes, crazy, I know. I said, today's the day, and she's like, for what? I said that you are gonna be in a picture with me because we're going to Costa Rica soon and I really want her to be part of the vlogs. Now I'm walking around the Bala Market, uh, Farmer's Market, so all these people come around. They'll be here like this week and then somewhere else next week uh, or they'll actually be here every single week. But uh, they got everything you want from your typical Canadian stuff like uh, Oh, they're, they're selling Chelsea buns over there, like I was telling you earlier. But of course they have the maple syrup. This guy's selling olives. They're really good olives. Olives, I just had one. Yummy. And here's another part of the falls. We got the train bridge. It's a road bridge. Gorgeous falls. Very loud. Beautiful old church. Check out the size of these flowers. Huge! That's my hand beside this huge flower. Nice! Well, there you go, guys. That's Bala for you. And don't forget to uh, go check out my Instagram and uh, click the like button and tell Carol how many more vlogs or that you'd like to start seeing her in vlogs, especially when we go to Costa Rica. Do the Instagram thing, show her the love, and she'll want to do it more. I guarantee it. Well, there you go, guys. That was our visit to the cottage. We got to head back home, and then I got to take Ben down to work. So it was a nice, stress-free day. Now it's time to go home and work my ass off. We are home now. I just finished dropping Ben off to work, and uh, I think I'm gonna go for a bike ride. As soon as it just cools down, maybe a little bit more. Need some exercise. It looks like I'm going for a bike ride now. Awesome. Uh, I have to fill up my front tire. I always check just before I go. You just press your your thumb on the tire just to see if it moves at all. And if it moves a little bit, then I let some of the air out and then I repump it up. It's 120 psi. Uh, your regular mountain bike is usually 30 to 60 psi, so this is double that. Uh, so they're super nice, rock hard. Uh, makes the the ride so much easier to do. Uh, I have to go now, it's like about 5.30, quarter to six. The sun's still a bit high in the sky, so I might get a little bit burnt, I'm hoping not. Uh, but she's making lasagna, and you can't eat lasagna, and then go for a bike ride. So I've gotta get on my bike, go now, come back, build up some hunger, and then I can mount out on some lasagna. But I'll let you know, of course, when I get back, what, uh, how many calories I lost, all right? Just got back. It was a 38 minute and 35 second ride. I burned 867 calories. And again, the reason I'm burning such high calories is because I'm 210 pounds and I'm going like 26, 27 kilometers an hour for that much distance. It is hilly around here. It's not killer hills that really get your heart rate going way up, but they're still hills and they still hard to get up. Uh, not hard to get up, but they're just tiring. When you see those hills, you're just like, oh, I'm gonna be dropping in speed and everything. Uh, I think that's about it. I'm going in for dinner. 
And that's probably the end of my vlog today. Oh, I am extremely tired now. Time for uh, a carob beer. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Ken's vlogs. Talk to you later. I'll try and answer some questions tomorrow. And I also have to this week sometime go through all my bills uh, for my um, New York trip and tell you how much everything costs just to give you an idea. All right. Talk to you. Bye.